Hello class 12th. We have seen the last lecture on the topic linear magnification and I have a doubt on the question, the question number four. So first of all, let's clear the doubt. So in this question, after going through in deep, I have found that there was a mistake in the question. The question is one centimeter long flame is placed at a distance from 1.5 centimeter from wall. That should not be wall. This should be mirror. Now, on solving the question, now the correction says this distance is 1.5 and the question is to calculate this distance that is V. According to this equation, after filling the values, so and on calculating the value of V, so the value of V was the distance from the mirror to the wall. This was the first question. Calculate the distance from mirror to the wall. Where should be the mirror to be placed? So the answer is three centimeter. Negative means on the left side. The negative sign always only says the direction of object or image only. And for the focal length, we are using this equation on filling the values. And finally, the focal length on solving this comes to one centimeter. And now in this lecture, we are going to discuss about refraction. In the last lecture, we discussed about reflection. There was a two type of reflection, reflection from the plane surface that was in the class 9 and reflection from spherical surfaces that we have learned and now we are going through the topic refraction so there must be two things refraction in the plane surface and the refraction in the spherical surface also so starting with first refraction at plane surface so first thing what is refraction refraction means just a single line bending of light so on further detailing Bending of light when light passes from one medium to another. For the more in detail, refraction defines whenever a light passes from one optical medium to another optical medium, it shifts its deviate from its path, it bends from its path. So this phenomena, that bending of light while passing from one, one medium to another, this phenomena is known as refraction of light. So why the light deviates? when it passes from one medium to another. Yes, this is because when light moves from one medium to another, the speed of light changes. The light will and when the light moves with a different speed, it deviates from its path. And the bending of light means the refraction follows the two laws. First law is when the light means the incident ray, the refracted ray and the normal all lie in the same plane and the second law is also known as Snell's law that the sine of angle of incidence and the sine of angle of refraction is a constant quantity for the, that constant quantity comes to know about that is refractive index of the medium but the bending of light from one medium to another let's have some ray diagrams as you have already studied already studied in the class 10 but uh, few details only considering this is a glass lab this is called the incident ray this is called normal this is called refracted ray and this is when the, when the light is moving from denser medium to rarer so this optical medium so first thing is how many mediums can be there so media can be air, water, glass, diamond, transparent, plastic and etc. Again one more question. In this diagram the light is bending toward the normal. In this diagram the light is bending away from the normal. So remember this first one that if light goes from rare to denser it bends toward the normal. So how we will come to know about which one is rarer and which one is denser? 
it is all about the density the medium which has more density among these will called denser and those one who are having in comparative to the other one less density they are called rarer for example in comparison to air to water the water has more water has more density and the air has less so this one becomes denser and this one as rarer in comparison between the water and glass glass has more density than water so this one is denser and this one is rarer in in between those these two and same for these two and many more examples are also there and second if the light goes from denser to rarer it bends away from the normal in this diagram i am considering the light is coming from this rarer to denser so it bends toward the normal and in this diagram the light is going from denser to rarer so it is depending away from the normal the laws of refraction is first one the incident ray refracted ray and the normal all lines same plane we are not going through detail in that because we can see the incident ray the refracted ray and the normal all lie in this page so this is all lie in the same plane and the second point the ratio of sine of angle of incidence to the angle of sine of sine of angle of refraction is a constant quantity that is sin i by sin r is a constant and this constant quantity is also known as the refractive index of the medium symbolized by the letter small n you can also use the symbol mu but in your class in your subject book it is used small n taking again one example let the incident ray is falling on this inter interfacing medium so the light is going to the denser medium so angle of incidence is angle i angle of refraction is small r taking this one the atmosphere or you can say the outer periphery media has in, having one and the denser medium i have named it as two according to the law of reflection second one that say that says sin i by sin r is equal to small n so the light is coming from medium 1 and going to the medium 2 so we can write it here 1 n 2 it means the light is coming from medium 1 and going to medium 2 and how we will uh, speak about it we will read that the refractive index of medium 2 with respect to medium 1 and we can also see that angle i is forming in medium 1 i medium 1 and r in medium 2 this law that sin i by sin r is equal to n the refractive index is also known as the snell's law so the next question is what is refractive index because we have termed that constant quantity n as a refractive index so the refractive index is the ratio of the velocity of light so the refractive index is equal to the velocity of light in medium 1 and velocity of light in medium 2 at it's, it's the ratio of the velocities of light in medium 1 to the medium 2 okay and now suppose this medium 1 is air and this is any medium in which the velocity of light becomes v we all know that the speed of light in air is small c and in this medium the velocity of light is small v so the refractive index which has symbol is small n will be equal to small c upon v in any medium so this is the refractive index of any particular medium so again we can say the sin i by sin r is equal to the velocity of light in medium 1 which is in which the medium the angle is forming i to the sin r means the velocity of light in medium 2 in which the angle is forming the angle r now in this equation the speed of light in air is a constant quantity so we can also say the refractive index is inversely proportional to the velocity of light in a particular medium means as the velocity of light will decrease in any medium as denser the medium is means if the velocity is decreasing means the refractive index value of the medium is increasing and also depends on the bending if the value of refractive index of the medium will increase so bending of light will also increase now what if the angle of incidence here is zero 
So according to the Snell's law, sin i, i is sin 0 degree and upon sin r. I am going to calculate the angle r if the angle of incidence is 0. So suppose any refractive index of any medium means medium should be any one. So we can say sin r is equal to sin 0 upon refractive index and the value of sin 0 is 0 so 0 by n so 0 or anything comes to 0 so sin r is equal to 0 or angle r is equal to 0 so it leads to if the angle of incidence will be 0 so angle of refraction will be also 0 for any medium because we are not taking any particular value of the refractive index, so general n. So whatever be the medium, if the light is falling normally, normally means, if the light is falling normally means, see this, see here, so light is falling normally, at this time the light itself are normal, so angle of incidence here is 0 and we know that if the angle of incidence is 0, so angle of refraction will also 0, so the light will go straight. without any bending or we can also say no refraction at that time. Now again taking the refractive index with the speed of light in air and the speed of light in any particular media. So the C and V both the both them both of them are the velocities of light. So the velocity of light is also the product of the wavelength of light and the frequency of light. That is the refractive index is equal to the wavelength of light in air multiplied with frequency. This is symbol nu divided by the wavelength of light in any medium multiplied with frequency nu again. Why they are same? Because when the light travels from one medium to another medium, this is the physical quantity which never changes means the frequency of light while changing mid one medium to another medium frequency never changes. So this equation leads to the refractive index can also be defined as the wavelength of light in air with the wavelength of light in any particular medium. On summing all of them, we arrive to the refractive index is equal to sin i by sin r, taking this i in air and this r is in, in any medium. So the velocity of light in air with velocity of light in medium can be written as small c upon v r equal to lambda means wavelength in air by wavelength in particular medium of light. So we have seen the refractive index, the equation with the velocities of light in any particular medium with the air and wavelength of light. So in the next lecture we will discuss about the principle of reversibility and many more and uh, thanks for the query and put the questions furthermore that I can solve that and until then thank you.